Just because it's. You would think, if you're just English. translating it into, into English, yes, you'd think that that would be an offender, but no. So, the idea, you could, they could have said, they could say in translating, let, let's see if Elijah is going to come saving him. Mm. But, the, since it's future tense, it's clear that, there's, that Elijah coming is going to produce the action of saving him. So it's going to be a future concept from the coming of Elijah. So one step after the action in the main room. That's how tense works in participles. Unfortunately, tense is the least problematic problem with, with participles. The participle can be used in so many ways. In fact, it, it, during Koine Greek, Participles were used so frequently that they they kind of um, they kind of overtook every other verbal form. You're going to find participles scattered throughout the New Testament, and many times you're going to have problems translating. And the reason is that they are so versatile; they can mean so many different things. So let's take a talk about the uses of the participle, and that's this is not in your handout. But it's a good idea to write these down, at least uh, at least the names of them, and try to remember some of this stuff because it is really helpful. Participle can be used adjectively. That is, it can modify a particular noun. Or a participle can be used as a noun or as a substantive of some kind. And a participle can be used adverbially. That is, and we've seen some adverbial participles in these examples and tense, uh, talk about tenses, and, and see that there's a variety of ways of translating them. I just want to give you an example of it. Now, and there's a rare use of the participle as, uh, that functions as a verb. We'll look at one example of that of those as well. What's the difference? It's a verb that functions as a verb, but it looks like a person. Let's take a look at an example of adjectival use. In Colossians 1.25, Paul talks about the stewardship from God. That was given to me. In the, and that word, that was given, well, that phrase is translated from one Greek participle, the thyson. And what is happening here then is this word stewardship, oikonomia, from which we get our word economy, this word stewardship needs to be modified or it needs to be uh, explained. It's a it's attribute in that and that word, that participle is being used as attributive or adjectively to that, that noun. It is a given stewardship. And so that's how the word is now being used. Uh, the, the verbal idea of dinami to give is now being used as an adjective expressing something about that noun. And in a great many of cases, when you encounter participles, you're going to find this. And, and, and that's pretty straightforward. It's one of the few cases where participles are, participles are uh, like that. And what helps in this exa example is that you've got the same definite article mm -hmm. oh. in front of both the noun and the uh, participle that modifies it. That helps. So that's an example of an adjectival use. Substantively, 